trying to dismantle our reviewing stand and throwing metal poles at us. We've now heard and seen more tense moments of the mob invading the Capitol on January 6. Congressional staffers and members narrowly missing the rush of riders. The assault, get up there! This on top of the flurry of videos posted on social media, helping federal investigators piece together on who can be prosecuted. It's hard to say who shouldn't be prosecuted. Kevin Sharp was a former federal judge for the Middle District of Tennessee for six years. He says since many were involved, determining a sentence is very specific to that person. You can't have this rush to, you know, hang them high. Um, even though that's, you know, maybe the gut reaction because you still have to do justice. The Justice Department has close to 200 federal cases with a range of charges related to the insurrection. My personal thought is if you can tell who it is, you charge them. Aside from people who vandalized and attacked police outside the Capitol, Sharp is referring to everyone who stepped foot inside, even those who may claim they were just caught up. Well, some people will just get probation, and that will be an appropriate sentence based on that particular individual. There is more to probation than just a stamp that says you're on probation. One is that you've got a felony conviction. Sharp expects many of them will have to pay for damages caused by the riot. The judge determines the amount which could hurt the most in the long run. I would rather have restitution of a billion dollars against me than restitution of $50,000 because you're not getting a billion dollars out of me. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9. There are still more concerns about capital security moving forward. CBS News has obtained a Department of Homeland Security report saying domestic terrorists pose an increased threat to government workers and buildings throughout 2021. The report claims that many groups may be emboldened after the January 6th attack. Lawmakers have already tasked retired Lieutenant General Russell Honore to conduct a security review of the Capitol grounds.